Hey guys, Isaac back from Undeniable doing another protein snack review. Today we got the Fulfill uh, protein bars. These guys are Aussie based company, I'm pretty sure. Um, they're white chocolate cookie dough flavor, so this is pretty much one of my two all time favorite flavors. Um, to be honest, cookie dough in the protein bar land, normally pretty much every company sucks at it um, and they get nowhere near it. It's, they always just make it like sweet vanilla, it tastes like shit. Um, but we'll see how these guys go. They're normally pretty good with their flavors, so. Overall, let's have a look at the stats on the back here. So you got 182 calories, that's pretty good. Most protein bars are around the 200 range. Anything under that is great. You got 21.2 grams of protein, a massive amount of protein for that, which is great. Uh, 7.3 grams of uh, fat, uh, probably in the medium range, but maybe on the smidge on the sort of like just on the higher range there. 11.1 uh, grams of carbohydrates, quite low for a bar of this amount of calories, I guess. Uh, with 7.8 grams of fiber. Um, I haven't really had a look on the back here, but you got to make sure that that's not soluble fiber and if it is soluble fiber, make sure it is added into that calorie uh, amount, especially if you're trying to be extremely strict with your counting and stuff like that. Uh, they list out a bunch of vitamins and minerals on the back here. Um, for me, I never really look at that kind of stuff. Uh, I'm not that meticulous with my tracking. Uh, but obviously if you're eating a good healthy diet, you should be hitting most of those. I think they're more of a, you know, just good to know that you got a little bit of something in them. Um, all right, let's get into it. Hopefully this is going to taste pretty yummy. White chocolate cookie day. Surely can't stuff that one up, but we'll see how they go. Okay. It looks like they've got like these little rice bubble sort of things on top covered in like a white chocolate. Hmm. Okay, so the white chocolate on top, I think it might just be white chocolate because it tastes really yum. It's got these crispy little rice bubbly things on top, which is really, really yum. Um, you look at the base here, I'm not too sure about what. Mm, okay, the base kind of tastes like a very dull, chocolatey kind of base. Um, nothing sort of mind blowing there. I think the combination of the two still is uh, good, um, but for me, Okay, I think the white chocolate in this bar really saves it. I don't think they really did the cookies and cream very well. It's got a very sort of grainy, I shouldn't say very grainy, a slightly grainy sort of texture about it. Um, I don't really think it really hit, like I know what they're trying to do, it definitely has that sort of crunchy um, cookies and cream kind of thing that you get when you eat like cookies and cream ice cream, like that sort of little pieces in it sort of thing. That's the kind of feel I get when I eat it. So I get the texture thing, why they've sort of done it. But for me, I think the cookies and cream flavor, uh, if it is supposed to be in that, that base, for me, doesn't really hit home. I don't think that's really cookies and cream. It tastes more cookie-ish. And maybe they're trying to just use the white chocolate and that cookie base to make a cookies and cream white chocolate. Um, but for me, I feel like it's just white chocolate with a sort of sort of cookie base that for me wasn't that great. So um, flavor wise, I still like it as a whole, but I think the cookies and cream bit of it uh, wasn't that great. So overall that I like this bar. I love the ratios, there's a massive amount of protein in there. Um, they've done a really good job of keeping those high protein levels in there. That is a smidge, very smidge high on this, but to be honest, when you're getting that much protein in for it, it's not too bad. Again, it's under the 200 calorie range. Overall, I like this bar. I still think it's very good, uh, but for me, I think the cookies and cream side of it was the letdown. So 
Overall rating for this bar, guys, I'm still going to have to give it a 7. I think they've done a very good job to keep the protein high in it. Um, I still like the flavor overall when you're eating. It's still a yum bar, but the cookies and cream side of it for me, miss. So, um, again, these guys are for Phil. All the other bars are very, very good, including this bar. I shouldn't like exclude this bar at all. It is still a very good protein bar, especially if you want to try and get that high protein in. Um, but for me, just slight miss on the cookies and crepes side. So that's it for today, guys, and we'll be back tomorrow.